Good evening, guys. Um, my baby's uh, daddy just left from here. Um, he wanted to see me before you know, I went off. Um, the one thing that melted my heart the most that what he said was, "I'm a. I have always been beautiful and smart, and that's the reason why he never left me." In which in reality he haven't. I mean, we're still, we're still now we got a child together. We still associate together. I just really touched my heart because he really didn't leave me. I mean, he's still been here all those years, you know. No matter. The hell he put me through or nothing. You know, it is like he said tomorrow before I leave, because I plan on being down there before five. Before I leave. Guys, I'm just scared. I'm not crying out of anything else. I'm just really scared. But, um, he wants to see me one last time. And to see his son and take his son out to eat. And then Bob, so. But like I told him, his son would be with my grandma. And then my grandma just. I gave him the number, told him to please just keep an eye on my grandma. And she needs help, help her with him. Because he's a mama's boy. <laughs> Hell, I miss you, right, guys. Sorry. Hopefully, I looked it up. I did at Catawba. It's usually five to fourteen days for detox. It depends on how bad your addiction is, how much you know is accumulated in your body. <coughs> really, it depends on your speed. You can be out within five days. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go that short of a term but I can't make them keep me you know that's the only thing with that so you know we're going to go four or five tomorrow and we're going to see how that goes um I'm just crying out of fear guys so um like I said addiction fear grips us addicts we get very scared when it talk, comes to being sober because we're scared of the withdrawals. We're scared of the hurt. We're scared of all we have to go through and all we have to experience. That's why we continue to use is to mask the withdrawals mostly, to mask the pain we have to go through to quit you know and that's why we do it and we it's just fear I fear that they're not going to give me anything to help me through my detox that they're just going to do nothing they're just, that's my fear but I know I'm wrong but that's just how my thinking is and that's how, what I'm fearing. But I know I'm wrong. Because I know that they are. It's a medical setting. For one. And they do give you medication. To help you detox more comfortably. I'm not sure what they are now. I have no idea. Um, but we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully. I am healthy enough to do this because um, before I go into detox, they have to do a medical examination um, where they check my heart, they check my blood pressure, they check um, just your functioning levels to make sure you are healthy enough to do detox, um, which I'm pretty sure I am, other than my blood pressure. My blood pressure can be high sometimes, and sometimes it can be right, and sometimes it can be low. Just depending on how upset I am that day. 
or how relaxed I am that day or how depressed I am that day. When I'm depressed, my blood pressure goes low. When I'm relaxed, my blood pressure is normal. When I'm stressed out or when I'm scared, when I'm anxious, when you know, my nerve I'm nervous, you know, my anxiety kicks in, my blood pressure skyrockets. So it may be a little high tomorrow because when I pull up in that parking lot, I'm going to be scared to death. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's like my baby daddy told me to go ahead and do it. I show everybody that I'm, all, I'm better than what they think they I am. Prove everybody wrong. And that's what I'm not doing it to prove everybody wrong. I'm doing it for me and my family, for me and my kids. Because the day I called my daddy crying because I was so sick. Daddy bear. I couldn't hardly hold my head up because I was throwing up. I was so weak from where I, I did not have a pain pill. And the thing that hurt me the most is my daddy hung up on me. He hung up in my face and told me that's what I get. But she's right. It is. I put myself through it. But he didn't have to hang up on me. So, really, I don't want him to take me anymore. I just take myself. If they want the car... They could come and pick it up from Catawba Medical Center. If not, they could just leave it sitting down there. I don't care. I just take myself down there. So, I'd be alright. My baby daddy did give me a Norco to help me through the night. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Because he knew how sick I get. He does. He's done seen me full blown sick off coming off the of pain. He has seen it and he knows what I go through. Um, guys, if y'all are watching this, don't do drugs. Don't touch them. Say no. Say no to all of it because it's not worth it at all. It is nothing but a life ruiner. It will ruin your whole life. Your whole being will be ruined. And if you are watching this and you are doing drugs and you're not that far into it, quit while you're ahead. Because all it's going to do is get worse, sir. Because your tolerance level is going to get high to the point where, like, taking that one pill is not going to help anymore. And you're going to have to take more and more. And then you get dependent upon them. That's where opiate dependency comes into play at. Um. If you're watching this and you're a full-blown addict like me, please get help. Reach out and get help like I did. Because in the end, it's going to be well worth it. It's a battle for us. And it's a long road to recovery. And there are times we are going to relapse. And, you know, we're going to feel guilty about it and all this. But just like my counselor said, we don't got to start all over. We can just pick up where we left off. Because everybody, the majority, about 95% of addicts relapse. They do. They relapse more than once. It can be up to 10, 12 times before they are completely sober. So, you know, besides, nobody's perfect, you know? So, um, how are y'all's nights, guys? I'm so sorry for the tear works, but, um, I'm very emotional right now, an emotional state. Um, I have been looking at this case of, uh, Evelyn Boswell, and it's so sad. 
her mom. They felt her little body on buried on a, a piece of land that her it's my kin to Megan Boswell. She deserves to be buried alive for real. Cause anybody that kills a child, that kills a toddler, that's not even. She was only 15 months old. Anybody that does that deserves to die, be beaten to death, be buried alive, be burnt alive. I don't care. Stop, Mama. <laughs> to be burnt alive. No matter what. Stone. I don't care. Because killing a child is the worst crime that you can commit. Or raping a child. Or molesting a child. Doing anything to a child is the worst crime. And that kind of crime, I do believe in the death penalty on. I do. Um. But guys, let's get on the lighter note. Um. It was Sugar's birthday the other day for BTS. He turned 27. Or was it 26? He turned one of the ages. But he had two cakes, guys. <laughs> two. <coughs> Yoongi had two cakes. AKA Sugar from BTS. It was his birthday. Um, applause to him. Um, happy birthday, Sugar. AKA Yoongi. Um, I hope you had a great, awesome day. I know you're probably not going to see this, but I'm going to wish you a birthday anyways. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, I'm going to get off of here, okay? And, um, I guess figure what all I need to pack up and take with me. Um, remember, guys, pray, put God first. Remember, I love y'all with all my heart. I love you, my butterflies. Have a blessed night. Put God first. Mm.